For this time lapse, I only wanted to kind of say a couple different things about it, just uh, the process that I'm going through here. As you can see, I used a sphere initially, cut it in half, and got the finger pads going. Uh, I kept on building using primitives to get that basic form of the finger. I'm going to work on that one finger for a little bit because I'm going to be duplicating that all around. I want to make sure that first section is right. Um, and then I'll use my transpose, rotate, and just keep on moving them into place to get the general feel of the hand before I actually start sculpting. So just using these primitives is a good way to both see the underlying structure of the hand and get a, a better sense of its scale. It just helps, especially when you're first starting out, to do it this way. It takes a little bit more time, but you're just spending more of that time making the primitives than the actual sculpting. For a lot of this, I'm just going to be using the transpose line to move and rotate, occasionally scale things, but mostly just the move and rotate. A lot of it's going to be just using clay tubes. A couple times I use the clay buildup. Once all of that structure is actually there, then I start going into using just clay and Damien Standard a lot. By blocking out all the shapes initially, I can see the proportions and whether they are off. Gives me a better sense of that. When the main structure is there, then I can start building on to that, adding the tendons, the meaty, fleshy parts of your hand, and the little wrinkles on your knuckles. This is where it gets really fun and it all starts looking like a hand. So those are a couple quick thoughts I had about making a hand and how you can start it off instead of just using a ball of clay but using primitives to build out each finger and your tendons, giving the underlying bone structure, and then building on top of that to get the overall feel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.